Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. Got lots of hot in the forecast for today. Those top temperatures are going to soar. No reason we're not up over 90 by 11 o'clock again and probably going to spend many hours way up in the 90s this afternoon. With a little bit of luck tomorrow morning, we'll see those temperatures slide a little further back into the 70s. If we can cut some of the humidity out just a little bit, it's still going to be icky sticky gross, but maybe not as such like we've had the past two nights where these temperatures in some spots are staying up over 80. I see some showers in some of our eastern areas. I see a few more showers over towards Apalachicola. So We've got a little activity on radar early. We'd love to see this activity later during the afternoon to cool some of those temperatures down. Most of it is south of Highway 27. Got some around Mayo, got some around Brantford, got more down towards High Springs and I-75. I think the story this morning will be any of these showers drifting a little bit more south and a little bit more to the east. Hopefully early showers will help to feed the possibilities for some more showers this afternoon. Otherwise, it's going to be hot and humid all day like it was yesterday. The Tallahassee Airport now dipping down to 79. We'll take it. It's 73 in Thomasville, 74 in Valdosta. Around the region, we're going to find the cooler temperatures in South Georgia. We've got a 70 in Blakely. We've got another 73 in Moultrie. Camilla's at 74. Still 77 at Quincy. Still 80 in Perry. And still 81 in Cross City. The breeze today goes from a little bit more west to a little bit more northwest. That usually limits those afternoon sea breezes and it makes it harder for the showers to do their thing. I see some fog out there this morning. Got quite a few spots where the visibility is down below two and a half miles and Valdosta is down to just one quarter mile. So yeah, we've got some fog. Two hour west is where all the excessive heat watches and warnings are. So as hot as it is around here and it is, it's even hotter through parts of Mississippi and Alabama and over towards Louisiana and Arkansas and Texas. That's where the biggest heat still is. Now future cast shows most of the activity moving south and staying south. Hopefully we'll find a few showers this afternoon because without it we get all those hours of those really high temperatures. The next couple of days our rain chances are going to stay kind of low too, so we expect those temperatures to stay pretty high. Some of the energy across the base of the Atlantic nothing looks all that impressive and while we were watching the remnants of Cindy try to reformulate doesn't look like it's going to happen. We'll still continue to keep our eyes on it for you. Winds on the Gulf today out of the west, 8 to 18, seas 1 to 3 feet, so a little breezy for the boaters at times. This morning, after rain chances around 30%, of course, it's going to be a little higher to the south, but most of us probably are going to skip out on the showers today, and the 70s and 80s become middle and upper 90s. The heat index will make it feel like it's near 110, dangerous, hot, and humid, so be careful outdoors in the afternoon. I think tonight it's more mid 70s, so we should see the overnight temperatures dip a little bit and maybe not as humid tomorrow and Friday, but every bit as hot, if not hotter. Those top temperatures keep trying to get near 100.